I saw their training at Vietnam. They are fast on the ball in their movement, and tactically they are very good. So we decided to came in, not allow them to access. They sometimes also use the high balls, the long balls. And we decided to block all their high balls. But it's quite unfortunate. We created a lot of chances, but we scored two goals. Are you happy with the 2-0 score? Actually, for me, I'm not happy at all because we should have scored more than the 2 goals. Yeah, at some point, we saw uh, an exchange between yourself and Fuji at the moment after you lost the ball. What was that reaction for? And as a coach, what would you say needed to do? To, what did you want to communicate to your player? Yeah, it's not an exchange. Sometimes this is the sign that I have to prompt him for. Coach, can you say technically the Manonate is absent at your team today? Not at all. Because he's also part of us and he's a good player. But we didn't use nothing for one or two reasons and some slight knock. Coach, mostly you see in your games, you change uh assembly. Today you played with that. How will you raise his performance? Yeah, uh, it was fantastic because at first Ansan was a little bit that when he played about 70 minutes, I know his strength, I know what he can do. After 70 minutes, Ansan also per the training that we put him through, he has gained and energy to uh, play the full time. Okay. Coach, congratulations. Thank you. Uh, today your boys they play their heart out. Uh, would you say going to Kekos affected the results today and probably going to the second league? How are you going to approach the second league? Yeah, uh, for the Kekos campaign, it helped us a lot because we are the, the siren and the atmosphere over there is quite good. We are all in the same area, no one is going out, and we have a lot of meetings that help us a lot. And then going with the return game. Uh, I've learned a lot from the work game, so strategically we need to strategize and go for the, this one, the next one. So. Now, Coach, um, I realize that your, your team gave a lot of 40 passes, which of course those passes could result in a very, uh, very good something for you. But let me find out for you, how are you going to resolve this thing before you, you embark on the second leg? Yeah, uh, consider that if you are in their shoes, when there's a lot of pressure on you, definitely your you are you are your player cannot give all the accurate pass through up the 90 minutes. <coughs> definitely there will be a 40. But the it's not the 40 is not the important. The reaction when the moment you lose the ball, your reaction to change the ball or immediate chase, that's the most important thing. So we we'll work on it. Alright, coach. Uh almost eight matches now of course they did your first win today. Will you say that uh, this win that is a moral booster for your boys. And will you say that your boys are on form now? No, I can't say we are on form. This is a moral booster because we were down for some time and this match has raised us a little bit, but we still keep pushing hard to reach our destination. Okay, coach, uh, you were able to score two goals in this particular game. What are the positives that you've picked in this game? Yeah, the positive aspect is about how to keep the ball and then composure whenever they read the goal area. Because we see the chance that we created, if they are well composed, we can score more than two minutes. Coach, this is your third game in Africa. How will you rate Africa League and Ghana League? Yeah, the Africa is played by champions, right? It's very tough. Very, very tough. And as we can see, our uh, local league is also highly competitive. See, teams are pushing hard because it's a it's a baton. Everyone wants to take the lead, and some of us we have gradually picking up gradually. Coach, about officiating, are you happy about officiating for today? I don't talk about officiating because I know nothing about yeah officiating. And coach, despite the. Yeah. Uh, they have seen on the league table. Sarah hasn't lost any of their last 26 home games. Going uh, into going to Algeria and then knowing the last 
mess um, the team suffered their last time in Africa on the road. What are the changes you are going to make? Uh, it doesn't matter with the changes. How we strategize and how we approach that game. And uh, the, 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 they are bound to lose a match. It's not obvious that they cannot lose a match. So they can lose a match. Yeah, uh, I will tell the House of Folk family that they should keep calm and this is a hard time. We need their support. They should also ginger the boys whenever things are going wrong. And I believe that at the appropriate time, the House of Folk will come back and wrap up with our nice club. Are you returning from Nigeria with everything? We will do our maximum best to qualify.